All right, folks, here we are, and we're back, and things have changed just slightly. Um, unfortunately, when I started recording the next section of the Let's Play, uh, my character contracted a disease and died within, like, two years, um, which is really rather obnoxious, uh, so I just aborted it. We're going to continue from... Uh, the first video, so we're going to keep that one, cause I, and I've largely kept things the same, uh, but I've effectively had to restart the game, uh, and I'm rather annoyed, but hey, whatever, uh, we'll go with it. Uh, I think I got everything pretty much back the way it was um, at the end of the last part, so nothing should have changed. Um, but yeah, sometimes the game uh, really doesn't like you and will actively do whatever it can to try to stop you. Uh, in this case, it killed my character before he even really had a chance to take an air or anything. Um, so, yeah, kind of annoying and a bit of a problem. Um, but oh well, we'll see what we can do with this next little bit of uh, the Let's Play. So, let us begin uh, with the Norman Conquest and the, uh, the Norwegian Invasion and see what happens. Um, one thing that I am going to do straight away is raise my levies in these territories so as to do my best to help um, our present king against the Norwegians. Um, Norway is a, a fairly decent threat at the start, largely because of his positioning. Um, he has a defensive position across a river and has a negligible amount of more troops, but at the same time, because he has more troops and because he gets a defensive advantage anyway, um, our king will need whatever bit of troops that we can throw at him to help out with this situation. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to try to save up my money here to try and hire mercenaries um, to further uh, cripple the, the Norwegian army, if at all possible. So... Let's, uh, let's play Crusader Kings 2 and get this game started. Move you... Oh, nope. Never mind. Hello. You're not going where I thought you were going. You're going to Northampton. Why are you going to Northampton? Uh, we've gotten married! Right. Um, and I will take the money, because the money is more beneficial at this early stage. Um, being able to invest money early on into either mercenaries to take more territories, or into um, uh, county improvements, uh, is rather important and helpful. And much more so than the 50 prestige bonus that I would get. Uh, so we're going to gain 11 gold. And we march our armies around... We fulfilled the ambition to get married, and now our next ambition is to have a son, onto whom we may pass on our titles and whatnot. The, what are you doing, Harold? When are you going to get there? 19th, 20th, 21st, 18th. You can just stop for a minute. There we go. There we go. So we will move in to assist. Let's see how he does. Not doing too bad. Oh, no, we're starting to lose. Battle has turned against us. Rather badly at this point. Uh, the Normans have invaded. So that's fun. And yeah. Our army has been defeated. So I'm going to disband them. No sense in keeping them up just to get trounced again. Uh, and we'll let uh, William and Harold duke it out for the fate of England. Um, essentially. And see what happens. Yeah, there goes William going up against the uh going up against Harold in Derby. Siege of York. We lost that, so uh Harold has taken one of our settlements. Um Spend some gold and 
Increase popular customs. Let's have a look at the technology. Popular customs does what? Improves my relations with vassals. Well, sure. I'll, I'll spend that much of that amount of gold to improve my vassal relations. Why not? Um, vassal relations are rather important in this game. One, uh, vassal relations influences directly the amount of troops that your vassals will give you. Um, secondly, it also increases or uh, affects the tax amount that you receive as well. Uh, so it's it's rather important uh, to keep your vassals happy with you uh, as much as you are able to do so. Uh, Harold is is doing well. He's just nicking territories left and right. Siege of Richmond. I am rapidly losing money. Or losing sources of income. He's just chipping these away. No real chance of standing up to him at all. William doing much the same. I do hope William's able to put Harold down. Because I would like to not be under uh, the Norwegian king. I would very much like to be under William instead. Um, because if Norway takes England, that makes Norway actually very powerful because of having Iceland and then also having you know Norway itself. Uh, failed tally by the defenders. Well, not much we can do about that. Where is he gaining all of these troops from? Is he called some does he have mercenaries hired? You're with the Genoese. Where are you getting all of these troops, my god? I have never seen Norway do this good before. It's honestly a little disturbing. Truth be told. There goes William as well, taking territory after territory. Putting rather a hard dent into the Saxon hopes and dreams. Being very aggressive. He's assaulting these castles. He's not besieging them. He's just taking them out. Um, one right after the other. My wife is pregnant. That's nice. I'm happy about that. Continue to save our money in case we do need to hire mercenaries later on. Uh, which does stand to be a good chance now just to break these sieges. So we don't lose any of these territories. William taking a bit more land and a bit more land here and there. With Harold up here at the, in the north. Taking really all of our territories. Um, so we have a very low income, or will have a very low income, because really most of our territories have been uh, looted, effectively. So yeah, there goes our county seat. There goes another one. How much money are we getting yet? Point six four. That was that's down from almost two, um, which you know one point five doesn't seem like a lot, but in the start of the game, that's a decent chunk of change. Sorry about that. Had to sneeze, so I muted the mic. Alright, uh, William has won. So what we are going to do now is do anything in our power to assist him uh, in fighting off the Norwegians. So we will raise troop levies and try to break the siege out of a couple of these uh, territories. William has had a son. We have had a son. And we will name him William. Both after our now illustrious king and, of course, after myself. So... William Williamson Carvan. 
Rather a nice name, I think. Uh, okay, it started as an uneasiness around guests and strangers and has evolved into an awkwardness and a strong feeling of discomfort. Um, these little scenarios will pop up from time to time for both you and your children, um, and you get to decide um, what traits you might gain from this. So I can either choose to get, possibly gain the trait of shy, uh, which is a negative trait entirely, it's a diplo penalty, or I can have gregarious, which is a diplo boon. So, obviously, going to go for the bonus. And I've gained it, so I have now another plus two to my Diplo ability. Hooray! Okay. Um, William is uh, fighting, and he's got a distinct advantage, so I'm not going to worry too much about coming... Oops, nope, that's the opposite of what I wanted. I wanted to join them. Uh, so he's smacked, uh, smacked the Norwegians away. Hopefully, Norway doesn't call in any allies, if he can. Um, Let's we'll see if we can't just kick him out entirely. Ooh, yeah, William's really just trouncing him now. Okay, um, the church preaches celibacy, and my friends try to lure me into hedonism by showing me the pleasures of life. I can't really decide if I want to enjoy life or wait for heaven. Uh, so I can gain a monthly prestige bonus and increase my fertility, or take a piety bonus and decrease my fertility. Um, so obviously, as from what you might have gathered from the initial uh, setup of my character, and trying to get as much fertility into him as possible, um, we're going to go with the fertility bonus. There we go. Uh, that's cool. Harold's army just absolutely trounced now. Gone entirely. His war score is rapidly plummeting. As we break these sieges away. And I gain my territory back. Which I am rather pleased with. Uh, increase noble customs. What does noble customs do? Noble customs. Uh, improve vassal relations with vassal feudal lords. Um, so that means my the the lords that I have under me that like that have castles will like me more. Yes, please. Same reasons as before. And we've broken the siege of York, so we should hopefully get a little bit more money now. Broken the siege of St. Peter's, or broken the the holding. Oh, William's doing that for us. I was wondering why that was going so fast. Well, if you're going to do it, William, I'm going home. I'm not going to pay for these people to be walking around. Wow, okay, we've got a uh, a claim on the county of Diffid already. Uh, so we have to spend some piety and spend some cash in order to use it. Um, but it's frankly worth it. So yes, we will we will certainly use that. What are you... Oh, you're fighting the Cornish. Okay, well, I suppose. So I guess we'll pull our guys back up then. And send them into Durham. To pick that off. Cornish League Independence War. That's interesting. Breaking the siege at Cuthbert. William cleaning up the rest of it. There we are. My wife is pregnant again! Hooray! Kinda hope it's daughter, because if I can get daughters, I can get some more, uh... What's name? Uh, get some alliances. That's what I want. Alright, so the Norwegian influence in England is now 100% completely, completely gone. There it is. So, Siege of Durham ended... Oh, nope, never mind. Missed a spot. We missed uh, Hartlepool. Again, if William's going to do the heavy lifting, I'm sending my guys home so they can rest and recuperate. Let's pick a new ambition. Let's try to have a daughter. That'd be nice.
And now we're gaining our money back at the proper rate as William goes to uh, fight off the Cornish, I suppose. Diffid, how much can you call up? 100. Okay, so that's a sizable enough. Um, my court chaplain has fallen to heresy. I, more that I studied the Fratricelli, Fratricelli religion, the more I feel compelled to embrace it and show you the wisdom that lies in these texts. I have sent you experts, ep excerpts from the most interesting parts. I urge you to embrace my example and embrace the Fratricelli religion. Um, no, heresy is bad, and I will be... Everyone will hate me if I become a heretic, so he's mad. Arrest the man. Which means we have to appoint a new court chaplain... So we will pick uh, Aylbert, uh Bishop of St. Peter's. Congratulations, you're taking over where he left off. Nope, I wanted to put him there. Not click on my marshal. A second son. Uh, let us name him after the late... Not maybe not the late king, but certainly the uh, having lost king, Harold. There you go. Harold Williamson Carvan. Isn't that nice? Wait, what? Oh, because of his mother. I suppose, yes? How is he... How is he at all related to you? This is not one of your siblings. Where is... What is the game doing? How is he related to you at all? This I do not understand. Because this is my... I guess it's like an in-law thing or a cousin thing. I'm not sure. Whatever. Not worth the effort to figure it out, frankly. William the Conqueror has taken the Duchy of Cornwall. You're getting loads of money now to blistering three gold per turn. Hold on to your hats, kiddos. And we are going to build a wooden palisade in York. And then build a wooden palisade as well in Appleby. Once we get the money for it. Almost there. There we go. Yes, please. So that will increase our levy size and increase our tax income slightly. And we are going to switch our steward over to uh, increase construction speed. So that will be helpful. And then soon after that, we will go over against Diffid. Yeah, what do you have a claim on? I don't even know what you're claiming. Do you own that? Oh, the whole duchy. That's what you're going after. I see. Look, I thought it was a county, not just a duchy. Harold, you need to either die or something because you've lost this war. England, England prevails and you can't do anything about it. Speed this up. Got 17 less than that. Uh, there we go. We've got our two wooden palisades built. And we will go back to collecting taxes. Yummy, yummy taxes. Let's have a look at the world map at the moment. Some troubles going on down here in Spain. Between the, uh, the Muslims, the Dinuid em Emirates. And the uh, Leonese. My wife is pregnant again! Hooray! Everything else seems to be... I don't know, I wouldn't say peaceful, but certainly not tempest-tossed. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, to our most illustrious Duke William, the good burghers of Boston are barely able to pay their taxes. Our coffers are empty. I humbly ask you, lower the taxes for your cities. So, I will take a income hit, obviously, since I'll be lowering taxes. Um, so, I don't want to do this. And one of the benefits, and one of the things why I suggested earlier is having a high diplo skill is important, um, and having high skills is important, is it opens up other options. So if I say no outright, I just piss everybody off. If I agree, well, I lose money, um, and if I uh, have a high stewardship skill, I can just bribe him, which I don't want to do, because it's still costing me money. So what I'm going to do is flatter and soothe him, uh, which just negates the, negates the uh, event, and... I don't lose anything, so... You're such a nice man, Mr. Mayor. It's very nice of you to show concern for your citizens. You're an excellent leader. Now kindly go... soak your head in a ditch. Uh, let's move... Oh, I didn't realize this. We're gonna move our, uh... Chancellor to a different county um, so as to further our claims. So we could actually go up against Northumberland while the Duke is in. Is he independent? You're independent. How did you get your independence? So soon, anyway. Well, Scotland's really kind of failed. What happened? This isn't the proper Scottish king at the start. I guess they staged a rebellion against him or. Someone assassinated him or something, and he had died earlier than he should have done. Because Malcolm should be the king. Uh, who are your parents? No. King Duncan. There, he got he got deposed and knocked down. Because this was the king. Earl Malcolm should be the king, uh, but he's not, obviously. So yeah, that's interesting. Another son. Um, let us name him after the other Harold. <laughs> we'll name, we'll just have the whole thing Harold, uh, which is the Norwegian Harold. I think so, anyway. Yep, Harold. So, there you go. So we've got William, Harold, and Harold. Uh, let's hope that bodes well, just, you know, for fun. And... I don't know why you have this army still called up, William. Oh well, it's your troops. How many men can you raise at a time? You can raise a considerable amount of men. Far more than I really can. I don't know, I could call almost a thousand. Okay, uh, peddlers are selling all sorts of food, clothing, and exotic spices and luxuries. Um, you can buy a couple of things and gain some opinion bonus, but lose one stewardship for... About six six months. I can possibly gain the trait shy. Uh, let's go with ooh. Okay, this is an interesting one because kind is a positive trait, um, though it does drop my intrigue skill, and I don't really actually want to do that. Uh, so let's not do that then. I'm gonna negate that because stress is certainly not good. It increases your chances of dying, decreases your fertility, and just decreases everything all around. Um, so we'll take the stewardship hit. No. Do this and hopefully gain the prestige. 50-50 shot. Oh, I got shy. Ah, oh, I took a Diplo hit. Shoot. Well, it's... That was a crap shoot, and I lost the roll, so to speak. Harold is losing war score, largely due to the fact that it's just taken so long. Um, the fact that we... That William controls England, so... He doesn't.